Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day. From the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for February the 13th of 2020, well, it's titled Spitzer's Triffid. So what do we see here? Well, this is a nebula known as the Triffid Nebula, or Messier 20. And this is an image taken by the Spitzer Space Telescope, which was just recently uh, completed its mission that lasted well over... Oh, over 15 years uh, observing the sky in the infrared portion of the spectrum. So this is looking at infrared longer wavelengths than we are than our eyes are sensitive to. And one of the advantages of looking at things like infrared is that this infrared radiation is better able to penetrate through dust and give us a view of things like star forming regions. Most areas where stars are forming, there's a lot of dust involved. So looking at them with ordinary visible light that we're used to seeing doesn't allow us to see all of the detail. And in fact, if we look at a previous image of the Triffid Nebula, we see dark dust lanes running through it, quite different than we see in today's image. And here we can actually see through those dust lanes and see what is going on. And that is one of the advantages of looking at things across the electromagnetic spectrum. Light as we see it, we talk about visible light, but actually includes many other things, including infrared as we look at today, but also includes things like x-rays and uh, radio waves as different ways of looking at things and seeing different parts of an object. Certain types of materials will emit different types of radiation, so a cool object will emit more infrared and radio waves, and a hotter object will emit ultraviolet and x-rays. So studying in only one part of the spectrum gives you an incomplete picture of the object. So here we're able to look at, in infrared, the Triffid Nebula, and able to better understand that, thanks to Spitzer, which again spent 15 years uh, in orbit studying the universe in the infrared part of the spectrum. So over the past few decades, with the launch of satellites and space observatories like this one, as well as others that looked at other portions of the spectrum, including Hubble Space Telescope looking at the visible spectrum, have given us a growth in astronomy in being able to get a really a complete picture of an object because we are studying it at all the different wavelengths that it emits, and not just at one particular portion, which is visible light, which the advantage is we're able to study visible light from the ground. Most other wavelengths do not penetrate the Earth's atmosphere. So we can't observe x-rays or all of the infrared or all of the ultraviolet from the ground. We need to get up above the Earth's atmosphere in order to be able to do these, which is why they were not observed until the last few decades with satellites being able to launch space observatories up above the atmosphere. So that was our picture of the day for February the 13th of 2020. It was titled Spitzer's Triffid. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture, previewed to be pale blue. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day, everyone, and I will see you in class.